hello students in this video we will see uh, the computer programming and problem solving lab assignment number 2 so problem statement of this assignment is a hotel has a pricing policy as follows stay for two person 2500 rupees per night stay for three person 3500 rupees per night stay for four person 4500 rupees per night additional person 1000 rupees per person per night and if the customer is staying on a company business tour then there is a 20 percent discount so take the number of people number of nights staying if the if it's a business tour or not as an input from the user and write a C program to calculate and print the cost of the room so here what we want to uh, calculate we want to calculate the cost of the room so for calculating the cost what we need we need a number of person we need number of persons after that we need uh, that person uh, how many days it it will stay uh, in that hotel that means number of nights after that we want uh, that person is on business tour or not so these three input that we want uh, from the user and after that what we want to calculate we want to calculate the cost of the room okay so this we want to do now the, if this we are accepting from the user number of person number of night and is business so here they have given the condition so we will see with the help of flowchart so this is you can see uh, the start start of our flowchart here we are accepting the number of person number of night and is business uh, he he or she is staying uh, in a hotel for business tour or not so these three we are accepting from the user these three input after that we are initializing the cost and the total bill equal to zero so this is for what avoiding the uh, garbage value so we are initializing it to the zero after that uh, in a problem statement they have given the uh, statement like if the number of person is less than or equal to two that means if yes if the people are two then we are calculating the cost so in statement they have given if the peoples are two then 2500 into number of night so this is how we are calculating the cost uh, this is the formula for calculating cost and if the person is more than two that means if this condition is false then what to do so again we are checking that key if number of persons equal to equal to three okay and if yes that means if condition is true then calculate the cost with this cost is equal to 3500 into number of night again if this condition is false then check for the another condition like if number of person is equal to equal to four again if this condition is true then calculate the cost with the help of the formula is cost is equal to 4500 into number of night after that if the number of persons or the people is more than four then they have given uh, the condition for for uh, calculating the cost so here uh, I have uh, written that ki if number of person is greater than 4 if yes calculate the cost with the help of this formula so for 4 people 4500 uh, rupees cost and for remaining people so we are calculating uh, this or we are using this formula for remaining people so 1000 rupees per person per night so we are uh, subtracting the 4 from the number of person that means here we are calculating the remaining people remaining people into 1000 into number of night so this is how we are calculating for the more than four persons so using this we are calculating the cost for all this after that you can see we are coming over here for this decision maker so here we are checking that ki if he or she is on business tour that means if yes then we are calculating or we are giving the discount on the cost calculated uh, by using above formula so here we are calculating the cost 
cost into 20% discount we are giving so this is what discount cost into 20 divided by 100 so we are subtracting that discount from the cost variable uh, and that is our total bill and this bill we are printing or displaying that total bill and then we will stop now if that person is not on a business tour that means if no then directly we are displaying the cost because we are not giving any discount to this person and then we will stop uh, stop so this is how uh, the flow chart for uh, for calculating the uh, cost of the room okay and uh, th this uh, we can use for for uh, drawing the algorithm now uh, what we want we want to write a C program okay for for the same so here I have uh, written the problem statement in the comment line after that you can see here from here the main method will start okay and uh, now uh, what what I have used here the this first two statement are the declaration of the variable so here this three variable I am accepting from the user and this two variable uh, that I want to uh, used or uh, that I want to store the cost of the room okay so this cost is for uh, 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 storing the total cost and uh, this total cost is for uh, for storing the uh, the cost uh, uh, for the business people okay so these two variable I am accepting from the uh, user now here you can see this is the message that I have uh, displayed on the uh, screen like enter number of people staying in a hotel after that uh, in num num this number of people I have accepted the uh, input from the user after that the n enter number of days staying in a hotel and in this number of night variable I have accepted that input and after that the next message is like if he or she is on a business tour then type 1 and for else type 0 ok and that uh, 1 and 0 we are accepting in this variable is business variable ok so this is how we have accepted 3 input from the user now uh, we have entered the number of people so depending on that number of people we are checking the condition like if number of people is less than or equal to 2 we are calculating the cost and in problem statement they have given for 2 person 2500 rupees per night ok so with the help of that formula we have calculated the cost again uh, if else if so here actually I want to check the multiple conditions so that's why I have used else if over here so again else if number of people is equal to equal to 3 then we are calculating the cost else if number of people is equal to equal to 4 we are calculating the cost so for 4 people they have given 4500 rupees per night so according to that I have calculated the cost now if else if the number of people is greater than 4 then cost is how much so for 4 people 4500 is the cost and for remaining people we are using this formula so we are uh, total number of people minus 4 ok that means remaining people we can say remaining people into 1000 rupees into number of night ok so according to that I am using this formula now after calculating the cost we want to check that key if he is on business tour or not and according to that we are giving the discount uh, to he or she ok so if yes that means if user is typing 1 ok in this is business variable so that 1 is equal to equal to 1 that means if this condition is match so we are calculating the total cost so total cost is what you can see cost minus cost into 20 divided by 100 so this is what for discount we can say 20 percent discount we are giving and that discount we are subtracting from the cost and which is equal to that is our total cost okay and that co total cost we are printing over here and else that means if he or she is not the business not on a business tour 
so in that case we are directly printing the message like uh, print the total cost so here you can see the cost is printed so this is how we are calculating the total cost of the hotel room now I will run the code yeah you can see here enter number of people staying in a room so suppose I am entering the two peoples and that two people are staying for the two days and suppose they, this person are on the business tour so you can see the output is 4000 that means here we are given 2 2 1 and then the condition this condition is true like people is equal to 2 that means using this formula the cost is calculated and for for our formula our cost is like uh, calculated with the help of this okay so which is equal to 5000 okay so likewise our cost is calculated now this condition is true now it directly goes to here like if business equal to equal to 1 that means we have entered 1 so 1 equal to equal to 1 so total cost is calculated here so our cost is 5000 minus uh, 5000 and on 5000 we are giving the 20 percent discount okay so which is equal to what which is equal to 1000 so that 5000 minus 1000 is equal to 4000 so then uh, and after that I have printed that total cost and you can see this 4000 is printed so likewise our program is executing like that means depending on the condition or depending on this if if condition if suppose true it will execute that if block otherwise it will go to the next statement again if if the, this true it will execute that block otherwise go to the next statement so likewise it will uh, check the condition and uh, depending on condition executed the block now suppose uh, next uh, test case is suppose number of people are three and staying for the two days and again he is on business tour so you can see the output is 5600 rupees okay now let me run uh, once again so suppose again the person is three staying for the two and now he is not on a business tour so that's why i am typing zero over here so you can see the total cost payable is rupees seven thousand okay so just to cross verify uh, this answer with uh, or you just calculate manually and check once again so this is how we are calculating the uh, cost of the room and here you can see that here I have not uses the uh, if uh, in this if block I have not uses the curly braces pair so why I have not uses because uh, below that if you can see only one statement is there and if such uh, if uh, such uh, scenario is there that means if uh, after if if only one statement is there then there is no need to uh, type this this curly braces you can see this type of curly braces there is no need okay so that's why I have not given this curly braces okay and you can see below I have used the curly braces here you can see here if is business equal to one and here I have uses the curly braces so why curly braces I have used because in this if block there are two statement you can see two statements are there that means if more than one statement or the line is there in the if block then that time you can use the parenthesis pair okay otherwise no need to uh, use the parenthesis pair so compiler automatically understand so suppose uh, the statement which is below that if statement so that is the true block statement so compiler understand that okay so this is how you can calculate the cost of the room thank you